Hey, this is Ronnie Go Boom, and welcome to my trap tutorial series. Today's episode features the concept I demonstrated in my last video, which uses blue glass to make a player think they are jumping into water. This trap can be made very simply, requiring no redstone at all, but if you'd like to add a loot collection mechanism, it can be hidden with some intermediate level redstone skills that I'll show you in this tutorial. We're going to pretend that this is a faction base. We're going to walk up inside. It looks like... Okay, there's glass on the floor. There's ladders coming up. Um, I could ender pearl, you know, I could like break this temporarily and ender pearl down, but I don't want to waste an ender pearl when it looks like I can just jump into the water. So I'll do that. Ugh, oh, and we died. And it looks like our stuff is getting pulled apart by a water stream. So obviously this base is a little bit more than what it seems. When you think that you're going to be jumping down and landing safely into water, in reality, you die because this is blue glass here. Um, and that's a lot of fall damage to take. So, how do we collect that loot? Well, as you noticed here, there's a piece of string and then there's a piston. And this is actually a bud switch. That's a block update detector. That'll send a redstone signal to a piston here and a piston here, which both pull back to reveal a small water stream. This water stream then goes through, past your feet, picks up your items, and then dumps them into this hopper right here where it collects all those items. There we go. So let's take a look at what it looks like without those pistons. Without the pistons, a water stream flows here, and then over, and then down. And it doesn't flow past the door because the door's in the way. But even if the door wasn't in the way, you could prevent water from going back into your base by just making this drop one down to the hopper because the water will find the closest place to fall if, it's, if it can possibly do it in less than seven blocks. Let's take a look at some of the redstone. We have a sticky piston, a redstone block, a piece of redstone dust, a block of any type, a torch, and a regular piston, not sticky. That is the entire block update detector. And what we want to do is we want to hook up that block up de update detector to these pistons. And we do that with a simple torch. I like to do it right here with a torch and a piece of redstone wire. Since we want those pistons to be pulled back for a little bit longer, we're gonna extend that signal. And the easiest way to extend a redstone signal is just by adding a couple comparators like this, one heading out and one heading back in, and that'll just extend this redstone signal as soon as it's turned on. Let's do a tutorial on how to make one of these on your own. Now you can try to do any mechanism you want to try and get a person to fall into a one by one hole, um, but essentially that's all you need, is you need to find a way to lure someone into thinking that they want to jump down a one by one hole into water. So, we're going to start out with a one by one hole. I'm going to make it out of glass so it's easy to see, and all you have to do is bring it down enough distance where they will die if they fall in it. The next thing we want to do is to get some blue glass and some water. Add a little cap to the bottom of your contraption and then we're going to put some water inside. Put a piece of blue glass on top of the water and most people won't even notice that it's there. Looking down you can't really tell. Even when I zoom in it's very difficult to see that that's blue glass on top of water. So. Most people will die when they jump down in this mechanism, and in fact, if you didn't, if you wanted to leave it at that and just make a way for, for someone to kill themselves, you can say you're done, and this is it. Obviously, if you're going to make this trap in a real server, you'd want to dig a hole straight down until you have enough fall distance where they're going to die. Then, you do the same thing. Water, and then glass. I would also like to add a little tunnel like this because if you have a tunnel and a torch, it makes them think that it's something beyond just a one by one hole, especially if you're looking at it from above, especially at night. All right, now we're ready to add a loot collection mechanism. The first thing that we're gonna do is add a block update detector. To do that, we're gonna need a sticky piston, just like this, then a redstone block, a piece of redstone right here, then a block, a torch, and a regular piston. Our block update detector is finished, but we want to add a piece of string right here so that when a player passes through that string, they update that block. Let's test it out. Perfect. 
Now we have to set up the water stream. To do that, we're going to have to pull this block and this block out of the way so that a water stream can flow through. First, we'll make the water stream. We're going to be adding the water here, but I like to add the water as the last step because I don't like mixing water and redstone. If you ever make a mistake, it kind of messes up your progress. So we'll just leave it blank for now. I'll put a torch here so I remember where to put the water. Next, we're going to put a sticky piston here. This sticky piston is going to pull that block out of the way to give way for the water. Next, we need the sticky piston over here as well. Next, we just need to hook up the sticky pistons to our block update detector. And finally, we're going to extend this signal so it lasts a little bit longer. To do that, we're going to need a couple of comparators. One faces this way, the other faces the other way, and then redstone can to connect them. Next, we need to have a place for that water stream to go. So when this piston pulls back, the water is going to go here. We don't want it to continue down, so we're going to have to block it off there. There we go. When this piston pulls back, we don't want it to go on both sides. So we'll pull this, put this here to block it on that side. And we actually want it to go over here, so we're going to need a chest and a hopper. We'll put a chest right here and a hopper leading into it, and then a couple blocks around it to prevent that water from going anywhere else. Then you can add as much storage as you'd like. Let's test out the final product as soon as we put our water stream right here in place of our torch. Water's going, and water turns off as soon as the items go over there. Let's test it out in survival. And it's going crazy because of that experience item. Now we just have to dress this up really nice so lots of people fall in it. Well, thanks so much for watching, but that's it for today's episode. Check out my channel for more MCMMO tutorials, as well as trap tutorials and factions let's plays. Hope to see you on factions. Make sure you also leave a comment if you have suggestions for my channel, types of traps you'd like to see, um, other types of stuff that you want to see in factions, and uh, I will probably make a video. Thank you so much.